Uh, welcome everyone. We wish to acknowledge this land on which the Face Institute operates. For thousands of years, it has been the traditional land of the Huro Wenders, the Seneca and the Mississaugas of the Credit. And today this meeting place is city home to many <coughs> indigenous people from across the island. And we are grateful to have managing an infectious disease heartbreak uh, from the perspective of the stochastic modeling approach. And Dr. Idris Saka is working as a postdoctoral fellow at the University of Montreal and uh, Mathematics for Public Health program and currently being supervised by Professor Boshra Nasri, where he develops a, an integrative framework that explores the impact of public health interventions across a broad spectrum of societal and economical issues. He received his PhD degree in stochastic modeling and control strategies in epidemiology from the University of Ibn Tofel in Morocco. His main research interests include dynamic systems, stochastic analysis, stochastic optimization, and their uh, application. And we welcome Dr. Sekhan to present. Thank you for the introduction. So I will share my screen and thank you all for attending this seminar. So, okay. Can you? Yes, we can. Can you say? So my talk will be on controlling and managing an infectious disease outbreak uh, using stochastic mathematical modeling approach for uh, compartmental uh, modeling, where we include in the deterministic uh, epidemic model some uncertainties to uh, see what is like uh, the behavior of uh, the spread of infectious disease. So an epidemic as a definition is the occurrence in a community or region of infectious disease that spread rapidly or explosively and infecting a large number of individuals and fading out. And historically speaking, uh, before and the early uh, 19th century, there was uh, a theory called miasma uh, that concluded that Infectious diseases such as uh, cholera was caused by particle in the air uh, called miasmata and which arose from uh, decomposing matter or uh, dirty organics. So during 1854, uh, Broad Street cholera outbreak in London and due to mathematics uh, or mathematics, mathematician uh, John Snow, he identified the source of the outbreak mathematically as the public water pump on the Broad Street. And he illustrated the connection between this water pump and the, the cholera cases. And as a result, it was concluded that the principal uh, cause of cholera was not uh, miasmata, but it was a germ uh, cell that at this time, it was not uh, uh, identified. So as a result, mathematical modeling was regarded as the founding event uh, in the science of epidemiology. And also uh, during our investigation, uh, dynamic models for infectious disease are mostly based uh, on compartmental structure, structures uh, based on the pioneer work of Kermak McKendrick in 1927 and 1932, and developed later by, by uh, and uh, even at this time, by many other mathematicians. So the, the compartmental uh, model describing the population into three uh, compartments. The first one is susceptible, we have also infected a compartment, the recovered compartment, and there is an interaction between uh, the S compartment and the infected population uh, with, according to uh, a transmission rate called beta, 
And also we have gamma describing the reversion from the recovery of infected population. So during our investigation, we are uh, interested in to see what is like uh, the behavior of the epidemic in uh, a population where we use the theory of stability to see uh, what is like the fluctuation around an equilibrium point for the epidemic model. So that is to say, in 1892, uh, Ryapinov introduced the concept of stability for a dynamical system. And the stability means the insensitivity of a state of, for, of the system for small changes or in the initial stage or its parameters. So for the stable system, the trajectories uh, are close to each other and will remain in subsequent instances. So for our approach, we will use uh, stochastic modeling with jumps, where we have the continuous part is to describe the, the, the impact of some unknown variables in perturbing the system and also uh, to describe the major events that can perturb uh, our uh, epidemic model. So that is to say, with the definition of uh, a Levy process and filtered probability space, we have uh, a Levy process is continuous in probability and has stationary independent increment. And we use also the Levy decomposition uh, to describe, uh, in order to use it in a stochastic differential equation, where we have uh, the following uh, equation describing uh, the Levy process. And also we have uh, N is a Poisson random measure, and also N tilt is compensated Poisson random measure. And uh, BT is independent, independent uh, Brownian motion. So for a more general form of the stochastic integral, we have XT defined as follows, where we have the compensated Poisson on the measure uh, is written of uh, new is written as follows. And the proceeding uh, notation can be customized to a stochastic differential equation with jumps uh, called eto levy process, uh, which will be used during our uh, works. Uh, for the epidemic modeling. So also we will apply uh, ETO formula for uh, to have uh, some results in extension and persistent in mean. And for the formulation, we put the U as a function of T and X. And we have the following, uh, the composition according to uh, ETO formula. So for the stability part of stochastic differential equation with uh, jumps, we uh, have, uh, we denote uh, C21 as the family of all negative functions V defined on its age uh, R plus such as they are conti continuously twice differentiable in X and once uh, in time. And we consider the differential operator infinitesimal uh, L associated with the equation, a stochastic differential equation. And it acts on the function uh, V as follows, where we have the continuous part and also we have the, the jump part. And applying each of formula, we get the following description for the stochastic differential equation with just as dv. So we are interested in uh, investigating the stability of the dynamical system. So I will present some uh, definitions. Firstly, for the stability and probability. And after that, we will use the Lyapunov approach to, to see what it's like to have those uh, definitions uh, for the stability. So the trivial solution uh, of equation six is uh, said to be stochastically stable or stable in probability for every pair of uh, epsilon between zero and one. 
where we have r is greater than zero and there exists a, a delta greater than zero such that we have the probability for the modulo x less than r is for for uh, uh, t greater than t zero uh, is the probability is greater than one minus epsilon and whenever the initial condition is less than uh, uh, delta otherwise we would say that uh, the the equation or is stochastically unstable and for the trivial solution is said to be stochastically asymptotically stable uh, moreover if we have uh, the probability for the limit when t tends to infinity of x equal to zero the probability is greater uh, or equal one minus epsilon for uh, whenever the initial condition is less than delta zero. So we think it's back. Okay. For the trivial solution, it's said to be stochastically assumptively stable in the large if we have the following condition where the probability for the limit when uh, t tends to infinity of x uh, equals to zero and the probability equal to one. So using the Lyapunov approach, uh, we have the following theorem where if there exists a positive definite function v such that we have LV is less than or equal zero, we can say that the stochastic differential equation is stochastically stable. For the other definition, we have uh, if there is a, exists a, a positive definite decrease function v such that uh, l v is negative definite, then the trivial solution of the stochastic differential equation is stochastically asymptotically uh, stable. So also we have if there is a positive definite decrease and radially unbounded uh, function v. Uh, such that LV is negative definite, the, the trivial solution of the equation is uh, stochastically asymptotically stable in the large. And also we will use the almost sure exponential stability uh, for the extinction of the disease where we have as a definition, it is almost surely exponential stable if we have the following uh, term the limit superior of t tending to infinity or one divided by t or log uh, x is less than zero almost surely. So also when we include those mathematical background into our investigation, firstly we uh, have some uh, results regarding uh, incorporating the jump and also we incorporate the delay to uh, describe the loss of immunity in our epidemic model. So for the diagram, we have here uh, three compartments where we have the vaccination strategy as described by PS and the loss of immunity for the vaccinated population also the the infected one who uh, became recovered we describe it with two terms of delay and also we have an input here as a, a recruitment rate so the mathematical formulation is as follows and for the functional response we include the we combine two uh, incidents uh, uh, that is the uh, crowley martin incidence and also the crowding effect. And for the uh, parameters that we have, A is the population recruitment rate, uh, new represented natural death rate, and the compartment here as uh, S, I, and R. Beta is the transmission coefficient between the compartment S and I and gamma describes the recovery of the infected individuals. P stands for the proportional coefficient of vaccination susceptibles, and D denotes uh, people who 
uh, died because of the disease. For the delay term, we have the efficacy period of vaccination uh, described by the delay uh, for S and also the loss of immunity uh, for uh, I described by Tao Chu. And for as results, we have firstly proven that uh, there is an existence and uniqueness of the positive uh, solution, where firstly we should uh, uh, set the initial conditions uh, for our uh, system. That is to say, uh, let C be a banner space of continuous function maps between minus tau and zero into R zero plus. And we have the, the following terms. Therefore, we get the following term where for any initial value S zero and I zero, regarding the initial values for it, uh, our delay. And uh, tau uh, means the, the maximum between tau one and tau two. We can say that the system has a unique positive solution uh, for all uh, t greater than zero and the solution will remain in R2 plus. So, Firstly, we define the basic production number for the deterministic uh, epidemic model, uh, described as RD0. Here, uh, the basic production number includes uh, the crowley martin uh, functional response and also includes the, the vaccine policy and the, uh, uh, the delayed term uh, tau one So here in our work, we define the stochastic threshold between the uh, extension of the disease and also the persistence of the disease and it described regarding uh, rd0 and with uh, the volatility part for the uh, the continuous part and also for the jump part for the extension of the disease we have if rs0 is less than one then we have the following condition uh, for uh, the infectious uh, comp uh, compartment, where we have the limit superior when t tends to infinity for the log i divided by t is less than zero according to rs zero less than one. And we have also uh, this uh, term for the, the compartment s. And also for the persistence uh, of the disease, we will use the persistence in mean in, in this work where we have the disease will persist if uh, RS zero in this case is greater than one. And uh, regarding uh, our initial condition, we have that the limit of inferior of uh, uh, one divided by T, the integral of I uh, according to time is greater than i star uh, which is greater than zero and also we have this characterization for uh, the compartment s so we try to uh, simulate those uh, theoretical uh, results and we get for uh, r zero here is greater than one for the deterministic part and our S zero is less than one. So we can see here that in the deterministic part, there is uh, the persistence of a disease in the population. Meanwhile, we have the extension of the disease for the stochastic part. And also when we have uh, R zero greater than one and also R S zero is greater than one, then we can, say that we have the persistence in mean for the stochastic uh, epidemic model. So as a rated contribution, we uh, investigated also stochastic threshold for perturbed uh, delayed epidemic model for extension and persistence in mean of infectious disease. And we used uh, a first site to Crowley Martin as function response. And we illustrated those theoretical results by numerical simulations. Now, 
we try to include the uh, isolation strategy or quarantine uh, strategy into this epidemic model. And we also included when uh, the quarantine uh, population reverting back and uh, have a, a loss of immunity based on uh, our work on stochastic threshold de for delayed epidemic model. We compare it also Levy process and we have here as functional response, the harmonic uh, mean and the vaccination strategy. So for the diagram here, we included Q as the quarantine uh, compartment. And also we have the third ter term of delay as tau three uh, to describe the loss of immunity for people who are uh, uh, recovered in, from uh, where, where they were in at the quarantine uh, compartment. So for the mathematical formulation here, we have the, the stochastic epidemic model as follows. And also here we have the harmonic mean uh, functional response to describe the transmission from uh, S to I. And we prove the existence and the uniqueness of the positive solution uh, regarding the initial condition. And also uh, we add the initial condition for the delayed part. And here we have uh, the basic reproduction number R0 described by uh, two times beta divided by mu plus alpha one plus delta plus gamma. And also we added the perturbation, uh, the continuous one and uh, the one with jumps. So firstly, to study the, the extension and the persistence for this model, we have to show that we have this following uh, conditions or following results to, to prove them. So uh, the limit when t tends to infinity of the, 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 the addition of S and I and Q and also the delayed part divided by T must equal to zero. And for the stochastic part, we proved the following lemma to show that we have the following results. Those results will be used in the extension of infectious disease where we have according to RZRS uh, less than one and the following condition on mu and the volatility and the jump part is greater than zero. Then we can say the limit superior of T tending to infinity for the log I uh, divided by T is less uh, or equal, uh, is less than zero almost truly. And also we have the following uh, results for the compartment S and for the compartment Q. Uh, since there is no infected population, we won't have any uh, population in the quarantine uh, compartment. And so for the persistence in means of infectious disease uh, in this case, we have if RS is greater than one, then we can say that limit inferior for T tending to infinity for uh, one divided by uh, T, uh, the integral times the integral of I ds is greater than zero. And also we have the following results for S and uh, Q. So as numerical simulation, we try to uh, include uh, some scenarios for uh, Morocco uh, for tuberculosis, where we got the following uh, values for some parameters and try to build uh, two different scenarios for the extension and also for the resistance. So here as a result, we have, uh, we have RS, uh, R0 is greater than one, which means in the deterministic part, we have uh, the persistence of the disease. And also for the stochastic threshold, we have RS is less than one. So as you can say, in the middle one, we have uh, uh, I tending to, to zero and also the persistence of the population in deterministic part. So for the, the results on uh, the persistence here, we can, we can see that we have 
R0 uh, is greater than one, and also Rs is greater than one. And we have the persistence of infectious disease in the population, and also the fluctuation around uh, the equilibrium point for the deterministic part by the, the patterns of the stochastic uh, epidemic model. So as contributions, we investigated also three sort of stochastic uh, IQR epidemic model regarding different uh, function response. And also we investigated a tree short of a stochastic SIQS epidemic model with nonlinear incidence rate. So after that, uh, we were motivated by the work of Professor Tyson on transition prophylaxis and multiple epidemic waves to raise more questions to improve uh, and to add some uh, aspects to, to the model. So uh, firstly, I will present uh, their results on uh, and their uh, way of modelizing the public opinion uh, on uh, and integrating it in an epidemic model. So the question was, how can we describe the public opinion on the measure mathematically? And how can we describe the behavior of the population regarding the, the opinion in infectious disease dynamics? And also does the public health addresses their message equally and should we be prepared before pandemic? And also there will be always uh, people against how can we measure the, the impacts on the behavior of uh, the speeding of an infectious disease. So here we have as a diagram of the work of Professor Tyson. She, uh, they divided the searchable compartment into the two sub compartments, SP for uh, prophylaxis and SN for non prophylaxis. And also there is uh, an interaction between those compartments based on the influence uh, function. And we, they get uh, different uh, transmission rates, such as beta P and beta N, and which uh, leads to the infection of uh, some individuals, and also the recovering of infected population into the R compartment. So they formulated mathematically this uh, diagram into uh, as follows, uh, where they have SP plus SN plus I plus R equals to one. And also for the variables and the parameters, SP is prophylaxis, SN is for, for no prophylaxis, I for infectious population and R for recovered population. Uh, omega i is influence of susceptibles with opinions, and uh, omega zero is the baseline with when uh, there is no infection, and also uh, beta p is the standard infection rate. Uh, a uh, denotes the prophylactic reduction in infection rate, and gamma the recovery rate. The C is uh, the cost of prophylaxis, and K is the half saturation constant of uh, influence function. So, given that the prophylaxis reduced the probability of contraction, uh, the disease, uh, they assume that uh, beta n equals to beta zero and beta p equals to beta zero divided by a, where uh, a is greater than zero. That is to say, beta p is less than uh, beta n. And also, omega p uh, i is monotonically uh, increasing function of i. And uh, omega n i is to be monotonically decreasing function of i. And they assume that an influence function of prophylaxis uh, when there is no infection equals to c, which means that the non prophylactic uh, prophylactic influence dominates where there is no uh, disease in the population. So for the uh, influence function, uh, they described it as omega p for prophylaxis, such as omega p equals to omega zero, 
uh, times one plus uh, i divided by k plus i uh, and uh, minus the cost term. And also omega n is uh, equals to omega zero times one plus one divided by uh, i divided by k plus one. And in the model, the influence uh, functions do not appear separately, but they are, they are, they are represented as the difference between those two uh, functions. So for us, for more questions, we said that an opinion is permanent and have consequences. And also the lack of opinion or less knowledge or misinformation on the disease severity uh, for the population and the measure to take. And also uh, not everyone uh, can have an opinion and, uh, on every raised question. And people who turned against a vaccine, uh, probably they will turn uh, against every vaccine in the future. So, uh, our prog uh, work on progress with Professor uh, Nasri and Professor Anya on the impact of infodemic and misinformation on the infectious disease uh, publication. We uh, try to include uh, people with uh, no opinion, such as uh, uh, the compartment uh, S, or people hesitating to, to uh, against the the measures taken and also the the vaccine so we include the compartment s and uh, also we include the vaccination strategy leading uh, from uh, uh, the transformation from susceptible uh, compartment the susceptible prophylaxis and susceptible non prophylaxis into uh, the recovered uh, compartment in a short term where uh, uh, omega p here equals to omega zero times one plus i uh, divided by uh, k plus i and we take off the the cost because we will use it as uh, a variable in uh, our optimal control approach so the system has initial conditions uh, which are positive and also an invariant domain where the addition of all those of compartment is less or equal than uh, a divided by mu. And for the parameters that we added as a susceptible population for people who are hesitated or not adopting any attitude toward uh, the, the measures. And uh, eta one is the rate of susceptible individuals who become individual prophylaxis searchable and omega uh, uh, eta two is the rate of searchable individuals who become individuals not prophylaxis searchable. And we have here three beta for the transmission uh, of the disease. Beta is the disease uh, transmission rate among searchable compartments and also beta P and beta N is the disease transmission rate among prophylaxis and non-prophylaxis and where we have beta P is less than beta and beta is less than beta N. And for the vaccination rates for different compartments for the searchables are denoted as P, uh, PN and PP. So we have here a free uh, disease equilibrium point such as uh, X zero with where we have I uh, zero equals to, to, uh, to zero. And uh, for the other compartments, it equals to the following terms. And the basic reduction number here uh, includes the different aspects for uh, the, the susceptible uh, prophylaxis and non prophylaxis and people who are hesitating. And also the vaccination uh, strategy is included in the basic reduction number. So, uh, to address this problem of infodemics and misinformation uh, as an optimal control approach, we added two variables, uh, U1 and U2. Uh, U1 uh, assure that we have uh, uh, transmission of people from the compartment S with hesitating and uh, encouraging them to get to the compartment of prophylaxis and also 
uh, we have uh, YouTube as a control to get uh, people who are no prophylaxis and encouraging uh, them to uh, be in the uh, compartment of prophylaxis. And here we have as description, U1 refers to the campaign's effort to persuade uh, susceptible individuals with no attitude and less knowledge about contamination, where we have U1 max is less or equal to one. And also U2 refers to the capture of the cost of the contact between individuals with different opinion, prophylaxis and non-prophylaxis, leading to convincing uh, the ones from uh, non-prophylaxis into uh, switching sites where we have also U2 uh, max is less or equal one. So as uh, an optimal control uh, problem to minimize the cost, we have the following term, including uh, A1S plus A2SP uh, and uh, plus A3SN, and also the terms for the controls where we have uh, A1, A2, and A3 is um, C1 and C2 uh, are positive weights. And also we have the, the controls U1 and U2. And uh, we define the control set uh, U. So firstly, we prove the existence of an optimal control uh, U star, such that we have the following uh, term subject to the control system with initial conditions. And we do a characterization for the optimal control problem uh, by defining the adjoint variables uh, lambda one into lambda five that satisfying the following stochastic, uh, following uh, differential equations. So here we uh, define also uh, U1 and U2, uh, such as we have U1 including the adjoint uh, one and two, and also U2 uh, star including the adjoint U2 and uh, adjoint two and uh, three. In order to illustrate this result of optimal control into uh, and support of this, this uh, theoretical result, we have here, uh, we described here uh using two different controls u1 and u2 where we have u2 is uh, activating uh, as the first site and also u1 is uh, getting activated at first and then it gets activated later which leads to diminishing the impact of the wave on uh, the 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 population for the infected population and here also we have the state with control where we have where we have more people with uh, uh, the attitude of uh, prophylaxis. Also here we described for the the, the illustration where we have the basic bigger basic protection number such as R zero equals to six. Uh, we build this scenario where we have the control over the size of searchable uh, compartments and also searchable not prophylaxis and uh, the more size we have for searchable prophylaxis which leads in, leading to uh, diminishing the impact of the the wave in, uh, in time of uh, an outbreak so as a conclusion uh, in my talk i shared some uh, investigations that are done uh, on the uh, extension of the disease and the persistence of the disease, including the loss of immunity, the vaccination strategy, and uh, the quarantine strategy, and also uh, how to describe the public opinion uh, into uh, an epidemic model in trying to build in some scenarios to uh, control or to, to uh, get the impact lesser on uh, the population. And thank you very much. I'm waiting for your question.